Well, first of all, for the U.S. and China, we know the uh, 20th back in 2014, and China worked very closely with the United States, you know, between the head of state of the two countries, and they developed a joint announcement on climate change. And later on that year, well, later on in, in uh, 2015, September 2015, the two presidents made a presidential joint presidential statement on climate change. All of the, these efforts, these collaborations, cooperations between the country really helped to set the foundation for the success of the Paris Conference to deliver the, the Paris Agreement. And now the, we do not really see that level of cooperation between the, the two countries, unfortunately, and we see more on um, conflicts. And uh, certainly, I mean, this kind of cooperation has been disattracted by other issues. So that is a not very good sign. And on the uh, uh, domestically, and because of the economic slowdown, again, a lot of the attention and the resources are now putting toward the, uh, the, the, the revitalizing the economy and to reassure that people are fine with their jobs uh, security and uh, so the, 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 all these uh, developments are distracting from our delivering the, the Paris Agreement. However, we also need, need to, to look at that the, by addressing climate change can also help to, the, uh, to, to, to uh, increase our level of uh, the technological innovation for green development, you know, for clean energy. So that can, on, on the other hand, can actually help. So just we need to figure out the way to achieve all these you know, balanced targets. Mm -hmm.